Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to look at concatenation. What concatenation is, is basically joining fields together so that you can have a sentence in a query or in a report so that the things don't get truncated by the size of the boxes that they're sitting in. So if we have a look at this table, you can see there's just a list of names and addresses. So first of all, I want to do concatenation in a query. It's going to join these two fields together so they will come in the same column or they will appear in the same column then i'm going to do the same sort of thing in a report so you can see how that works and how you can join multiple columns together and also i'm going to use a, an if statement to miss this out if there isn't a city so just go straight to the postcode or county or whatever comes next so let's get straight into that just get rid of that so create a query Great query design. Um, let's get rid of these property sheets. And I want the table consultants. And I'm not going to add all the fields because I just want to do or deal with these two. So first off, if I just double click these down and then run the query, you can see how that would sit. That's how it normally is. So to use concatenation, what you need to do is get rid of that for a minute. And now I'm just going to zoom that up so I can see what I'm doing so now the, the symbols that you use to join fields together is the and sign so the first field if I move this box out of the way you can see his first name so first name close square bracket and then I need to do a an and sign I call that a glue point so that's a glue point now I need a text space so I've done a space and then another quote so that gives me a little space and then another glue point and then the second field in this case surname close the square bracket and then click ok to that now it's put expression one in there but i'm just going to call this heading because then i could refer to that in a report or a form so if i run that you'll see how that goes so now they're all in the same column no matter how long the names are they will all be sitting like you can see there. So that's how you do concatenation in a query. And if I just open this up so you can see it again, just using these little and signs as the glue points to glue the fields together. And then this the quotes to give you a text space. I just did a space bar there. So there's actually nothing there at the moment. Now I will save this as heading. Just call it QRY heading for now. And then okay that one close it down now to create a report if i go create um, report design and just get um, the property sheet up and data record source is going to be the table consultants you can get rid of that for a minute and then you've got your fields there same fields as before but this time I want to do a concatenation in the report and now to do it in the report you need to use an a b box so i'm on the design tab at the top and i'm going to select a b and then i'm going to draw a rectangle just get rid of the title for a minute now to start this process off you need to use the equal sign so equals and then you would go through the same process so you type in your fields in first name is the first one and then you need a glue point and then a quote symbol with a space and another glue point to add the surname like so then a glue point and then this is this is what you need to do if you want a, a second line a return line after this after the first quote do control and enter and then do the second quote if i can go back a bit there do a space and then do control enter do the second quote so what comes next what comes next is address so i'll put that in in side square brackets i need to put a and sign in front of it and after it and then the speech marks space control enter and then your next one is going to be city so city the and sign and then city inside square brackets close that and then the and and then 
we'll just do postcode. I'm not. I'm going to miss out. Um, the county. So postcode inside square brackets. Now I need to put a, a glue point at the front of that. I don't need one at the end if I'm not going to do anything else. So just click away. If you make a mistake, it will tell you then when you click away. But if I have a look at that, you can see Stephen Saxton, one, two, three, Bowden Lane. Then there's a space. So I don't want that to be there. So I need to fix this and I'm going to fix it with an if statement or a media if statement. So if I go back to the table just to show you that, that's because there's no city in that field. Go back into design. So now I need to do an if statement. So at the beginning of this, immediate if, I, I, F, open the bracket, and then it's going to be the, the, the test. So the test is if the city field is null, so is null, is a feature, comma. If that's true, I want first name, surname, address, um, but not the city. So if I just get this one out, cut that one out, just get rid of that for a minute. And then that's what I want if that's true, comma. If it's false, I'm just going to make a space here to put the city in. I want all of this, including the city. So, best way to do this, I think, is just to copy that bit and paste it in front. So I don't want that bit there. So I want first name, surname, let's bring that back. First name, surname, and address, and city. So I need a little and sign there. And postcode is the next thing I need. Copy that and just paste it there. Do my little space quotes in there. And then I should be able to close the bracket. Then I just need to check this. So if city is null, I want it to say first name, surname, address, and postcode. If it's not null, I want it to say first name, surname, address, and city, so there's a something missing there, look, space, and postcode. So that's okay. So this wants to come down onto a second line. So control enter, control enter, and click away, and it doesn't like something. So I've got to just double check this. So we've got and postcode. Start at the top. So first name, surname, address, and postcode. So stop. That doesn't need that there. That's it. And have a look. So now it's left that space. It's got rid of that space on that one where there's no city. But on this one, it's got leads because there is a city. So that's just the if statement that's getting rid of that. And obviously, you can do it for other ones as well. And the properties for this, if I get the properties up, click on this. Um, you've got four, uh, the border style there, solid. If I change that to transparent, then you're not seeing that. And then the rest of this is just the space. If I move this entire box up to the top left corner, reduce this area. In fact, I can probably reduce this box a little bit as well. I can get my mouse to sit on top of that. Pull that down. Get rid of that space. Push that up a bit. Same with the header. You normally would want a header and footer, but just to show you that these spaces make a big impact on the actual end product. So that's your report with concatenation and an immediate if to hide the city field if you need to. So that's the end of this session. I hope it's been of use to you and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.